Welcome to FS17 on the Square Farms map. Today we'll be purchasing some tools and toys for our house along with some materials for upcoming projects. Today's video was very highly requested by all of you guys and I do appreciate all of the continued support here on this brand new homeowner series. Up first we'll be going over to the local store with our 2018 F-150. We'll be purchasing a weed eater, a push mower, and a leaf blower by all of you guys requesting it which is pretty cool. Over this past week and we did mow our lawn and we did move in for the first time which was pretty cool and we did remove a tree which was awesome and this upcoming weekend we do have another very big project for this uh, homeowner series so stay tuned for that as well and then a little bit later on today we are going to be buying a jet ski along with a center console boat a lot of you guys uh, did agree with me that we did need a boat which was pretty cool I hope all of you guys are having a great day today let me know how it is down below here in the comments my day is going good so far and I hope yours is too and I really do like this uh series so far it's going to be pretty realistic I'm currently in talks uh for a uh, in-ground swimming pool a patio cool things like that that we will be doing and we'll be hiring people to do it and will be a pretty cool perspective to watch them do it as well so stay tuned for those videos coming hopefully we can do it before the ground freezes we don't have too much time because winter is coming pretty fast but we are here in the 2018 F-150 XLT this is a crew cap with a five and a half foot bed this is one awesome truck i really do like a lot and it's in ruby red one of my favorite colors and we are now arriving here at the store now if we do have time we will also be picking up the seed in at the end of today why don't we go and uh, have a fun ride in the porsche because we gotta enjoy it as well so we'll put these ramps down here really do like these ramps we'll keep the 5.0 uh on no need to really turn it off because we are only taking this and you guys can see right over here let's take a look at it we got a leaf blower take a look at that that's pretty cool and i can't wait to put that to work we got a 21 inch honda push mower a lot of you guys did request this and it really does uh come in handy around the house and we'll be using this a lot as well and uh probably to outline our property and it looks like we will not have room for those materials so i hope to come back second trip forward that is okay that is so cool uh putting things in the back of this bed so we'll come over here get this weed eater now this one is actually actually an edit and uh, this is not the original weed eater because that one falls over quite a lot this is a different one it still does work and that is good so we'll get this loaded up and that's pretty cool maybe we could do a lawn care video just with these and but uh this is the homeowner series so this is mainly just for taking care of our own property which is an awesome series we'll get the load lock there and the ramps go alongside there that's actually awesome I would like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and checking out today's video. Later on this week, you guys will be seeing Forza Horizon 4 videos coming to the channel with all of the different trucks, off-road, and cool things like that. And those will be second videos as well. So a few days, you guys will be getting some extra videos, which is pretty cool. Especially with the start of the school, I uh, dropped down to one and, uh, for a few days, especially probably this weekend, we'll do two to kind of check out the brand new Forza Horizon 4. I can't wait for that and also FS19 coming out on November 20th that's going to be pretty cool making awesome videos with that and this is a 5.0 uh, V8 motor doesn't get the best gas mileage but that's okay I actually want to go by the gas station as well and uh, I think we'll do that but I think today we'll use the GMC Denali uh, to tow the boat and the jet ski and that one just went flying did it land upright yes it did so a few technical difficulties there still did work and hopefully we could kind of get things worked out for upcoming uh, videos I really do want the realism but sometimes uh, things don't really go as planned and this is pretty cool though I really do like this weed eater and like I've touched on it does work and our lawn is freshly mowed I do recommend you go check out the video on our first cut with uh, the series now this series is meant for us to rent equipment and do things around the house uh, like we will be building some gravel pads here for the uh, trailers. I don't really want the trailers to just sit on top of the grass. The grass is going to die out, it's going to turn to dirt and then it's going to be just mud when it rains. So we'll be uh, doing that and a few other things as well. And we did uh, remove a tree uh, so we are starting the process of expanding the driveway. 
We'll get this parked up right about there, and we're going to have to move it just a little bit, and that looks good right about there. It's awesome. We got our uh, new tools all uh, put away. Up next, we'll hop here. I think we'll head over to the gas station as well. We'll go get these seed bags in there, just at the local store, and then one fertilizer bag. We will be overseeding and trying to seed some of the dead spots, and we'll take a walk through the lawn when we get back before we do get both the toys. I really do enjoy uploading every single day to YouTube. It's a lot of fun. And you guys have been awesome here with the continued support on the daily videos. I also enjoy responding to you guys down below in the comments. So if you do have any cool feedback, any tips, anything to help improve the channel, or even video ideas, please let me know. And we are back here at the store once again. We do buy quite a lot of things from them. And there you guys go. We got four bags. One fertilizer, three seed. We'll be overseeing, trying to make it the best looking lawn on our uh, street. Now these are uh, 50 pound bags. They are a bit heavy, but that is okay. And we'll probably set them right like that, probably towards the uh, end. And <laughs> there it goes. And that's not what we wanted to happen. But there we go. We got it on the back of the truck. And it would be nice to... Kind of just, can we throw them in? Oh, throwing them in uh, looks like works, but wow. I mean, these are pretty big bags as well, and they are just seed bags, which is nice. I really do like this mod as well. It's pretty cool. A few of these are flying out. Uh, definitely not too realistic there. I'm not sure if we do have straps here. We'll definitely check. I'm not sure if we brought any with us in the uh, cab. Usually, I do like to keep some in all of my trucks. That looks good there. Wow. We'll get these unloaded. And then the last thing we have to do today is get some toys and take a look. That, guys, we got the straps. <laughs> That's awesome. Looks like we do have one seed back there, kind of moving around on us, but it shouldn't be no problem. And I really do like this first person view. It is amazing. I've sat in a few 2018 F-150s, and it's just like this, and that's just so cool. Having the detail, and we should have went to the other street. Yep, I'm doing a little bit of backtracking, but that is okay. I do have lots more landscaping videos along with other cool things coming here to the channel as well. And it looks like this one seed uh, bag is going to give us a little bit of trouble and it fell out. So we have to come and get it. And I'm not sure exactly how this fell out. But hopefully uh, this time the strap can uh, kind of get it. And we'll see if we can get the strap again. Looks like the strap now is not getting the others. So we'll have to be tricky. Looks like it gets one, doesn't get the others. That's okay. It's probably to do with those bags there. We are just around the corner from our house, which isn't that bad. And mowing the lawn did take quite a long time, which is no problem. I mean, uh, we did buy this house. We did a look at the other property before. You guys can see freshly mowed. That looks awesome. Just we are now arriving back here at our house with these seed bags. I will be putting them inside the garage to prevent them from any rain since we will be getting a little bit. And that isn't uh, bad at all to get rain and help out. Uh, and it does make it so we don't really have to uh, turn on our aeration system. And we'll probably just put the bags kind of up against the wall. Once we do this, we'll switch over to the Denali. And yes, we did forget uh, to go and get... Uh, some gas for this truck but that should be fine we aren't going to be using it later on today and it still does have a quarter of a tank so we'll put these up against here and we'll just make a nice pile and we'll put that there only a few left now I didn't want to get too much fertilizer since the lawn is good. The fertilizer is only for these areas where we do need reseeding and it uh, looks like some key controls are uh, <laughs> not really working. Uh, we go to pick up the bag and it opens up the door. Sometimes we do run into problems like that and I do apologize there for it. But I'm really excited for all of the cool things coming to FS17 and I'm currently working on the train cup mower as well which is pretty cool. So we'll hop here in the uh, Denali, we'll get it pulled out and then we'll get the F-150 uh, put back in and this is one awesome truck. Really do like it a lot. It is fully loaded as well which is always nice. It has all of the latest tech and it is a pretty pricey truck and it was made by Machine Modding so big shout goes out to uh, him uh, for making that. We'll try to get this to fit and I think for now we'll just drive it in and we'll try to put it as close to the wall as we can. 
Perfect, so we got this parked in here, and that looks to be good. So I think we'll probably go get the jet ski and then the boats, just one after the other, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Now we are going over here to the boat dealership. I do recommend it. you check out that video setting up that dealership, and we currently are on a new save game, so we don't have all the dealerships set up. But one thing I've noticed with having all the dealerships on one map is it does create lots and lots of lag, and I think that's because some mods do have errors, some things like that, and that is why you guys haven't really seen me use uh, too many equipment at those dealerships because I want really good quality content, but I don't want a uh, lag, and that is a uh, what we will have to avoid but it's actually uh, just down the road to our left I hope all of you guys have had a great start to the school year. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. Uh, mine's going good so far, and I hope yours is too. Here we are, guys. It is our jet ski. It's a sea dew, which is awesome. And then the next one over there is a 20-foot center console, and it is pretty cool. So we'll head back here with this one, and both of these will be going inside the garage as well. It's going to be pretty nice uh, garage keeping these, keeping them in really good condition. This GMC Denali is perfect here for towing all of our trailers and heavy loads. Even though the F-150 can do it, I always do like having that extra power and we do get to use this truck. I haven't actually featured this in a few videos as well with this series, so I thought this would be the perfect time. And you guys can see that I do the daytime running lights on as well, which just looks awesome. I really do like the look of this truck and all of the new trucks lately from all of the different manufacturers have been looking uh, great, which is always nice. And I do like the uh, roads and sidewalks on the Square Farms map. It does make it a bit tricky when the load does shift around. Other than that though, this is one amazing map and I can't wait uh, to build a new map in FS19. That is my plan. Uh, once I do learn the uh, new techniques, everything like that, I want to build a map and that should be pretty exciting. Maybe a few maps like we did here and things like that. And I am working on the compact tractors. They are currently still in Blender. I'm trying to finish up the train cut mower, trying to get it released, and that should be good there. So there we go, guys. We've got the jet ski all uh, parked up, and we'll have to close that. I always do like to lock up the house, uh, making sure nothing goes missing. And we'll head back now. If you do have any cool equipment up, Grace for any of my series, please let me know down below here in the comments. We will be starting a new construction project very soon, and it's going to be a pretty big one, so it's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to do that. It looks like we will have time today to do a little bit of driving in our Porsche Turbo S. That's a 911, and I really do like Porsches in general. The look of them is amazing. really do like the mid to rear engine uh, versions that they do. And I'm using a Xbox One controller, but the uh, steering is pretty sensitive, I will have to say. And we'll just have to uh, kind of uh, be as careful as we can. So we'll head back now here with our 20 foot center column. So I think that this is the perfect size boat. It's easy to trailer. It's good for deep sea fishing and uh, you could also uh, get many people on here. Sometimes you can fit probably up to eight people on here and having uh, the dual outboard really is awesome just in case one uh, has his issues out uh, far away from shore. The other one will get you back uh, to shore which is always a big thing when you are out miles and miles away. So we'll be probably doing a little bit more boating as well before the season is over. The Denali though really does tow it and this boat isn't too heavy. Probably at most it weighs just around 5,000 pounds and the F-150 could do it but I thought that why not we uh, don't really use this truck too much but we will be using it to tow some rentals. And We'll now be backing the boat here into our garage and it looks like it does clear. It looks like only about a, a foot at most of clearance, which isn't that bad. And that looks good right over here. So here it is, guys. Our garage is now full of toys along with tools here for our uh, house and to take care of it, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to do camping videos. We do have some pretty cool ones planned as well. And I'm thinking we'll probably back this in and we'll give a little bit more room in between the trucks back it in, watch the Porsche over there, and that looks to be good there. 
We'll get this door closed and we'll come over here. Now usually I do like to get this uh, vehicle and all of my vehicles kind of warmed up. We'll get it turned on and we'll pull the Porsche out, let it kind of sit here for a few minutes and uh, we'll just kind of close up this. But you guys didn't see it, so we're very full which is nice. Maybe a little bit of organization might uh, make it a little bit cleaner. And the white on the Porsche looks amazing, really do like it a lot. We're up here in our Porsche, let's go for a quick ride and then we'll call it a day. This does have amazing brakes, which is pretty cool. I think we'll just kind of go around here, and then I will call it a day. You guys can see upwards of uh, some pretty fast speeds here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's a uh, homeowner video here, getting some new uh, tools, some toys, and uh, getting some materials for upcoming projects as well, since we'll be overseeding and fertilizing those sections of our lawn. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.